Introduction to Linux Multi-User Systems We will look at how we can create another user in our own system. So let's look at the current directory. And now we're going to change into documents. The documents folder is empty. We type pwd to double check where is our current folder. We make a directory called shapes. We go inside shapes, cd, shapes, enter. This folder is empty. So let's make some files inside here. We have made two empty files by using the touch command. Next, let's go up one level. We are in the documents folder. Now I'm going to use a command called add user followed by the username. So for example, John. So this command may require a super user privilege. So you need to put in sudo add user John. Enter. It will ask for a password. Please type a password. Please ignore if it gives you a warning that the password is too simple. Please retype that password. Now you may type the full name. You may use capital letters and space bar at this prompt. The work phone and home phone are not compulsory. You may leave it blank. Now you have to type capital Y and press enter and the new user has been added. Let's use the GUI to try to log in into the new users folder. So for this we type s ftp colon slash slash forward slash the username john elias local host and then press connect. It will ask for the password on the GUI Please type the same password that you used to create the account. Please wait a moment while it logs on automatically onto the John's folder. So here we have the earlier users folder and on the bottom we have the user John's folder. So now, let's try to copy files between users. For this, we need to use the command scp space dash r space shapes space john alias local host colon slash home slash john and another slash so we're going to copy the shapes folder into john's home folder it will ask for you have to type yes and followed by the password so the two files have been copied it doesn't appear on the gui so fast so let's just Go up one level and go into John's folder and we can see the shapes folder is already there. 
and we can check the original file was there and it has been copied into another user folder. Thank you.